In the previous tutorial, we have seen that how to create set, uh, empty set, and a few methods related to the set. In this session, I'll discuss about the set operation, set methods that we can perform on the set. So uh, let's see one by one. The one operation that is uh, that can be performed is called a union. Union means um, if you call the set one and set two union, then it will return the common element uh, means uh, the both element from the set one and set two. So just look at here the description returns a set means it will return. So we have to store the result into another set, uh, a set which is the union of set one and set two. So and uh, the same operation you can perform by using the operator. So I'll show you one and two operation of the operators and rest of the operation you will do by yourself. And still if you get any problem to perform the operation by using operators, then uh, you can put your queries and you can put your comment uh, into the comment box. So first method union. So let's uh, come to this. Uh, so I'll create a set one with value one, two, three, and uh, I'm going to create another set is a set two with the element that is two, three, four. And after that, if I write set three is equal set one dot union and set two. So uh, let's see that what is the result of set three. So the result of set three is one, two, three, four. As you can see, um, it will contain all the elements from set one and set two. And one more thing that you can see here that it has only a two one time and three one time. Why? Because set is a collection of unique elements. So it will follow the same rule. Either you are performing operation as well. Okay. Uh, the same operation you can perform by using operator. So by using or operator, you can do the same thing by writing set one or set two so it will also perform let's look at here the answer is the union okay so this is the syntax s yes, a uh, set one dot update uh, it will perform uh, the operation and uh, it will perform two things first of all it will calculate it will uh, uh, find the union of set one and set two and that result will be updated into set one okay so it will not return it will update the result so it will update the result into the calling set since we are calling the update method by using set one so it will update the result into set one okay so uh, just look at here uh, what i'm trying to say uh, for example if i write set one dot update okay and here i call set two so it will perform the union of set one and set two first thing okay and after that that result will be updated into the set one so now set one will update so if you print the value of set one then you can see here that the result is one two three four okay so it means it will make changes into your set one and uh, why set one change because set one is calling the method if i uh, print the value of set two just look at here so set will uh, set two will remain same just look at here now if i change it to set two and uh, set one so i'm call now i'm calling the update method by using set two now you can see here that set two will change okay so remember this one whenever you call any update method and whenever you find any update uh, uh, related to uh, method then you understand that it will update the result to the calling set intersection so if you want to calculate the intersection of uh, sets then you can call the intersection so here uh, if i call set 3 is equal set 1 dot intersection intersection of set 2 Okay, so it will re, uh, return the result of intersection of set one and set two into set three. Intersection means it will return only common element which are available in set one and set two. So just look at here, only two, three uh, elements are common into set one and set two. Uh, intersection update. So as you can see, update is here. So it will not return, it will update. So it will update the set one by, uh, uh, by the result of set one and set two's intersection so if i call the method like set one dot intersection update and here if i print the value of set one then you can see here that set one is now change okay 
and these uh, operators um, operation you will perform uh, you can calculate the difference difference means uh, minus operation so uh, set one minus set two if you want to perform if you have set one and set two and here it will return a new result so i will store into set three set one and here i will call the difference here okay so i hope uh, so it will calculate the difference of set one and set two and return into set three so let's see what is the result of set three here you can find that only one so difference means uh, uh, it will uh, minus so uh, two three will be minus from uh, uh, set two and only one will be remain into the result so that's why set three is one uh, if you change the order of calling then you can find here the result will again change so here if i write, write this then now it will make changes and it, the result is only four next is uh, difference update so again uh, if you calculate the difference update so here i will write difference update so it will uh, calculate the difference of set 2 and set 1 and update into set 2 because we are calling the difference update method with the set 2 okay symmetric difference uh, means uh, uh, returns a new set and with the elements in either set 1 or set 2 but not in both so if, uh, what is mean by this just look at here the result then you will get understand uh, set to set one dot symmetric difference with set two. So what are the elements which are not common? So as you can see, one and four is not common. So it will return only the non-common elements as a result. Let's look at here. Okay. Symmetric difference update. Uh, suppose you want that uh, the result should be updated into the existing uh, set, then you can call symmetric difference update method. Symmetric difference update. So it will uh, find the symmetric difference and update to the set one. So here, if I print the value of set one, then you can see here that set one is now containing one four. Next is is subset. Uh, if you want to check, uh, this is called the relational checking. So if you want to check that uh, whether every element in set one is in set two, then you can use this method. And uh, since uh, the method is calling is subset, so I have already explained that if any method is uh, like a question type, then it will return either true or false. So test whether every element in set one is in set two and return true, otherwise false. So let's see uh, here. Print since it will return, so I can print it here. So set one dot is subset of set two. So it is false. No. Whether every element in set one is in set two. So every element of set one is in set two. No. So here, if, uh, if I write like this, one, two, three, and here, if I write only one, two, just look at here. Okay. So again, as you can see that uh, the every element of uh, set one is not in set two. So if I write one, two, three, and four, now look at here. Okay. So now set one is a subset of uh, set two, as you can see here, that set once every element is in set two. Uh, similarly, if you want to check that uh, sub uh, superset, okay, so you can call the method. So if I write set two is superset of set one, means uh, every element uh, uh, of set one is in set two, then it is called the superset. Just look at it. Yes, set two is superset of set one so you can check uh, the uh, subset and superset by using these methods 
and you can use these uh, operators also uh, set one is uh, disjoint to set two uh, what is mean by this return true if two sets have a null intersection intersection means uh, no common elements so if you want to check that is there any common element available uh, in uh, more uh, in two sets or not then you can call is disjoint so set to one dot is disjoint set two okay so as you can see no uh, it will return false uh, definitely because uh, there are so many elements are common if i make it as five and six so here you can see that it returns true yes because uh, there is no element which uh, which is common in set one and set two uh, to check the proper uh, subset and proper superset, you can use uh, this operator and check the equality of the set. You can use set one and set two. Uh, equality means, uh, for example, one, two, and three. So it will either return true or false. Set one is equal to set two. So here you can see that, yes, both are same. Uh, if I write, let me change it here so again just look at here it will return is still true why because set two will contain only one two three because we are repeating the uh, the elements so as we know that this set has only the unique set of the collection elements so uh, this will not add it again uh, if i write one two three four then it will return false because now set one and set two are not equal so uh, these are the methods uh, these are the operation that you can perform on the set so i hope all the methods are clear uh, just do the practice and uh, write your code so happy coding so uh, thank you for watching this video i hope uh, you are learning something so please uh, like comment and uh, share the video share the views in the comment box uh, this will motivate me um, and please please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video bye bye